Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the next topic we're going to talk about is digital and smart ports. And today uh, here with us is uh, Dennis Bichkos, uh, which uh, is a representative of Latvia's, Latvian Maritime Academy. Uh, so let's uh, welcome uh, Dennis. And uh, Dennis, uh, I wanted to, to start this discussion in, um, by asking you about... Uh, developing of, of ports. Uh, what does the uh, digitalization, uh, how, can, how can it help to develop uh, uh, new ports? Or yeah, uh, hello everyone. Uh, thank you to the possibility to participate on this great event. Uh, like you mentioned, I'm from Representative Maritime Academy, but as well also Freeport of Riga. That's why I try to be like more interactive and interesting explanation of what we're doing on the port as well and as well in the academy. Okay, the digitalization for the ports, I think it's really the future because um, uh, it will be really help to simplify uh, our work and uh, like old fashions uh, work experience like um, before we have quite a lot of paper documents, but nowadays everything coming more and more electronically. Um, like academy, academy as well have a special courses about these, uh, how the port formalities, uh, it's coming to digitalization format. Also some standards coming from uh, international maritime organization as well from Europe. And of course in the port we implementing this solution. Nowadays we're working on this uh, port community system. Uh, it's like common system for all the Freeport of Riga that all the ship formalities is uh, sending to Latvian national single window and then to the port because we have quite a lot of clients what need to be exactly time when the ship is coming, when the good is discharged from the ship and when it's loading. That's why it's a quite a lot of solutions about this digitalization. Also, what's very important, it's nowadays coming uh, more uh, like uh, fashions these days about these autonomous ships who is really new features it's not like uh, using like around the world but uh, some already solutions is already implementing in some countries like ferry from the two countries can using this autonomous sh sh like ferry without the uh, captains but of course monitoring and uh, remotely remotely controlling from the coast station that's why it's really interesting i think and the, our port also an academy working on this strategy to thinking how we can work and teach our students as well and uh, implementing it in riga port and other port in latvia in europe as well i see and uh, what are the the solutions and the uh, innovative challenges that uh, the digital development of uh, of the port yeah, what, what I already mentioned about this port community system, we already do that, but also we're working with um, some monitoring system, um, like uh, monitoring some oil spill in the port or the near, near, the, near the ports on the, on the Riga Bay example. Um, yeah, this digitalization also we're working with uh, log more logistic because the port is like a middle of the sea transport and uh, logistic transport and that's why we need to find as well these connectivities from the maritime goods to the going uh, for the further to the some clients on the warehouses and as well nowadays we're working on these solutions on the port uh, with these uh, smart uh, gate system that the truck coming and uh, already can be counting on the warehouses and then going to the ship or the opposite side. This is uh, the still working on the implementation in some ports, but of course, uh, very important things, the standardization process, because we have standing alone systems, but it's not connectivity with other systems. That's why it's very big challenge to working in the standards with the data exchange with the systems. Okay, I see. Um, also, uh, a question that I, I personally wanted to, to ask you, which was, um, we got a, we got one of the uh, one of the uh, persons that joined online. And they lost the connection for some of the while. Uh, how important it is in, uh, in in your industry to have the connection all the time and uh, without any interruptions? 
Yeah, we are working very closely with our uh, mobile telecoms. Uh, it uh, can be LMT as well, beta, it doesn't matter, but we're working on these implementations, well, 5G solution in other port. Of course, the 5G solution, it's not like for the simple users like us, because it's more and more coming from the industries. And uh, also, we're working with 5G technology and also have our own local port connection with uh, internet connection, optical fiber, and we use these um, um, two connections to have a backup solutions and main connection connectivity uh, to cover uh, all the, our network in the port. Because if we coming more and more, uh, uh, like equipped our port with sensors. Um, as well with uh, like uh, more cameras to have these uh, intelli uh, uh, intellects uh, intelligent solution on the port to implementing. Then it's uh, like need to be more connectivity and this data internet connection is very important to us. That's why we work and implementing it. Uh, and as well about the academy, of course, we also thinking about to have these special courses for to teach uh, the new. Uh, students who is coming about this new solution to implementing what can be implementing at the port because also this 5G the solution can be also using on the port if the ship coming to the port area then can switching from the satellite directly to the coastal to like a 5G or to our optical Wi-Fi connection or something like that. So actually, you're very happy that the 5G technology is here and you, know, you can implement it. Uh, in yeah, because we'll be have a benefit on that. Yeah, sure. Um, what are your uh, future prospects of uh, digital and uh, smart uh, ports? Uh, future, what I mentioned maybe a little bit, but uh, it is a future thing that to have it's more autonomous and more digital uh, and trying to be like flexible and simple for the users and this cargo flowing. Uh, at the, I think then we will be benefit from the other countries if we will have it in our Latvian ports like that. And this digital logistic is very important because nowadays we know that um, the, our ports is um, like um, not in a good position about these uh, corridors with uh, with some Europe, Russia, and so on, so on. So on. Uh, but uh, if we will have this solution and data connectivity with other companies, I think there will be more productivity here in Riga. And uh, yeah, it will be the future if we work and continue on work like we work nowadays. Uh, what do you think? What could be the um, uh, the next steps to? Uh, increase the uh, digitalization in an port uh, industry, or what's uh, what's what does the future brings us? Yeah, the future, what we're working that connect these uh, goods who is coming from land to the sea, and trying to organize and get like in one floor and connect all the data. That will be the main, I think, topics. What uh, port working on nowadays? So pretty much all the transportation. Get, uh, got, uh, getting onto like one uh, one platform that, that involve, uh, gets information about all of those. It's like yeah, it's like one platform or connection with many platforms because you know that we have already in place quite a lot of systems and solution application and so on and so on. But uh, they're very important that they can speak to each other. That will be the benefit. Okay, and uh, since you know about more more about Rigaport. How far are we uh, developed in, in, in uh, these kind of technologies compared to other cities or other other countries? Um, I think we on the also on the higher level because nowadays we have this new port community system and it's like already based on the new technologies uh, and we like wide opening for that uh, possibility with connect with other application. We also have some done some pilots with Estonian uh, company like who are um, bringing to gra gra grains to port and uh, it's already connecting directly that we have this pre-booking system if the truck coming to the port then I declare the truck drivers the plates of the truck and just he's coming to the port scanning the barcode and we already know everything about this uh, truck just the barrier is opening and he entering in the port. Everything without the human resources can work a little doable, but of course it's just a pilot and we're going after the pilot trying to implement it in the real life. 
uh, is there maybe some, uh, some example that you can give uh, that uh, digitalization has helped a lot in, in uh, some, some situation where the process it took, took uh, maybe a very long time and, and, uh, or maybe some story of, of uh, like I think how, how the digitalization has helped in, in, in uh, our nowadays society. It's a good story that uh, if I, like an uh, owner or some car guy needed to know about this cargo, exactly the time where the cargo is and when it will be in some end location, it will be really benefit on that. I think if, for example, I am sending some from China to Riga and then we are already knowing the a real time when he will be here because nowadays it's of course can be some stopping of the stock on the container or something like that but um, I think the future must be like real life data exchange and it will be really good benefit for, for that yeah um, I see uh, I, I know that for the um, for the last uh, last year it's been pretty challenging to get uh, all kind of goods throughout the, throughout the, all the world because there's have been a lot of delays in it and so on and so on. Um, is uh, is is there a, is there a solution that you see um, in in this sense that we can uh, we can improve and and see where when uh, like or how the actual goods could could get to, from one place to another? Uh, the solution I think it's only one that all the ports and all these. Uh who is involving on this process must becoming more and more digital. And uh, of course, uh, it's sometimes it's very impact on the budget as well for each company because the digitalization costs quite a lot of money. Uh, but of course, if you invested that, you have also benefit for the clients and trustable for the clients. That's why I think it will be really pushing on this company to have everything digital in the place. If it's an example, we also take uh, our stevedores company on the port. They have only some smaller, his own solution the port, but it's not that sending information to the clients about the real time, where the goods are, and so on and so on. Also, that some terminals only have this possibility to exchange with the port system, but not all of them. That's why it will be yeah, the challenge for these uh, parties who is involving on this process. I see. And uh, what, uh, maybe what is the, um, uh, or what are the challenges that you are facing to, uh, to, to, to get uh, uh, improvements in, in, in um, your field? Challenging, it's like um, to improve that. I think it's like Europe must to be like uh, trying to cooperate with all the member states, but also Europe then going to the white uh, to try to find a solution how we can cooperate to each other because nowadays it's very like difficult uh, because uh, what I mentioned at the beginning about this data format with exchange and if we don't have any standard on that it will be very complicated because each solution with its own standards it will be complicated to implementing in real life. That's we need some common understandable readable to machine to machine how we can really organizing and going on uh, these solutions, but it can be like international standards for this logistic chain in digitalization for the future. Okay, um, and what, what do you feel, um, is, there, uh, is, there, is there anything from, uh, as well from the uh, passenger side, side of like, in terms of traveling, is there something else uh, in, in digitalization that, that uh, we'll, uh, we'll get excited about uh, in, in the future as well? Yeah, like, like today you see that we are building this uh, real Baltic uh, connection and also you see that our transport minister Linkets, Dal Dal Linkets, mentioned about this uh, common ticket or how to correct it, say that you buy the ticket uh, for the train and you as well can buy it for the ferry, example for the Stockholm, it will be common ticket coming example from Cesis to Stockholm and there will be one ticket. <laughs> it will be, I think, the future for this uh, one ticket to going to the Stockholm. I think it's a great idea, but it also need to understand all this connection. If you order the ticket to the train, you can at the same time order to the ferry. I think it uh, will be, in, for Latvia, so it will be the future. Maybe some countries already have it, but we will go working on that, I think. 
I think it's very challenging to, to connect all of those worlds because uh, um, I've been uh, traveling myself. Uh, sometimes it's very, very challenging to, to get from one place to another, if, especially if you have to get from one specific city to, to another. And, and uh, I believe you have that uh, done that, that as well quite a lot. Um, that is, it was uh, really, really great to, to talk with you. Uh, our, our time is up to, to sum up uh, our um, our uh, discussion. Is there is there anything um, that that you want to to, to mention b uh, before before that? As well? mm, no, it's just maybe some few few words about these uh, some new solution. What we also work in the NAC Academy and in the port. This is drone solution implementation, and uh, we also discussed about the 5G, why it's needed in the port because this using the drone and monitoring solution also the um, they. Big, it was using the big data with transmission. That's why why we need the port 5G, why we need the optical fiber, because the directly connection from the drones to the coast it will be like huge data exchange, uh, like with uh, megabytes. I don't so no technician guy, but uh, we need this channel because nowadays happening everything uh, like manually. Drone is coming back, and then we analyze the data. But it took the time. But if it's going the online, it will be or real life, it will be really benefit for the port. All right, that is. Uh, thank you so much for this yeah. uh, panel discussion.